So to discuss this is uh, Kamisa Kamara, senior visiting expert for the Sahel at the U.S. Institute of Peace and Mali's former minister of foreign affairs. Kamisa, thank you so much for being with us. So why is, I mean, there's several issues at stake here, but let's just start with France and France essentially being kicked out of Burkina Faso. Why has France sort of seemed to sort of, I guess, fall out of favor with a lot of their former colonies? So, uh, Zain, thank you for having me. Um, this didn't happen just in a vacuum. Uh, in 2013, France first uh, engaged militarily in Mali uh, to liberate the country from a, an impending jihadist threat. And since 2013, uh, France has been uh, quite heavily involved in all of the Sahel countries, including Burkina Faso. Uh, despite the initial of, of objective of, of French, which was to combat terrorism, uh, the jihadist threat actually grew uh, in terms of number, of size, but also so the jihadist threat could not be contained within the borders of Mali and Burkina Faso is one of the victims, I guess, of uh, the fallout uh, and the expansion of the jihadist threat uh, from Mali. Ten years later, uh, what we're seeing in the Sahel are young leaders who are in the 30s, in their early 40s, who want to break from the past, who do not feel intimidated by the, the former colonizer and who want to uh, make uh, their imprint and show uh, their authority. And so the fact that French, uh, France is being uh, booted out of, of, of Burkina Faso it just didn't, didn't happen by accident. Right, it didn't happen overnight. You point to several factors, including the fact that the security uh, situation in a lot of the Sahel region hasn't really improved as much as you would have expected it to, given France's presence for such a long time. Um, Burkina Faso is saying, look, we can protect ourselves. You know, we don't need France. We can do it ourselves, can they? Well, uh, Burkina Faso has for many years uh, said that it wanted to take ownership of its own uh, security at the regional level. Uh, multiple initiatives have uh, uh, been created, including the G5 Sahel, which was uh, supposed to be uh, fighting uh, terrorism in the region. But in Burkina Faso, uh, the authorities have said that they have mobilized a certain number of, of men to defend uh, their communities against the jihadist threat. Now that the, the French are exiting, uh, there will have to be some operational rearrangement, and uh, it is yet to be seen as to whether they're going to be effective or not. So France has bases in, from what I understand, Djibouti, Gabon, Ivory Coast, Niger, basically most of their former colonies. Um, just what, what does France stand to gain? I mean, they've obviously done, gone out of their way to um, have a military presence in the Sahel region and a lot of their former colonies. What does France stand to gain from those relationships financially? I, I have to say that uh, the, the, the first French intervention in 2013 in Mali was done at the request of uh, the Malian authorities. Uh, mm -hmm. France didn't just uh, come to Mali uh, uh, without an invitation. Um, but uh, again, e economically, it's really hard to say what France actually gains. Geopolitically, from a strategic point of view, France is actually projecting its, its power in, in the Sahel region, its military power, in ways that it's unable to do uh, in other uh, regions of the world. I would say that France, is, uh, France gains more uh, in terms of uh, geopolitical uh, strategic interests than uh, economic uh, gains. So without France now, I mean, Burkina Faso is saying they're going to protect themselves. But can you see a situation, because this is what a lot of people fear, that there's going to be a situation whereby Burkina Faso turns to Russia, turns to the Wagner Group for help uh, instead of their sort of traditional Western allies. What do you make of that? Well, I would say that this is completely uh, besides the point. I do not believe that the Wagner Group or Russia, by extension, uh, have the willingness to uh, be involved in, in such a volatile region for such a long time. And I do not even believe that they have the resources uh, to be involved in the way that the, the French uh, were. And so, you know, it's really, we have to be careful. And, uh, and you know, Burkina Faso is not going to collapse I think there will be uh, some operational um, uh, co considerations that will be made in Burkina Faso, but also in neighboring countries uh, to maybe collaborate more closely and fight the terrorist threat uh, more effectively. All right. Uh, Kamasa Kamara, live for us there. Thank you so much. Good to see you, by the way. It's Thank been you. a while. Always nice to have you it's on the show. It's been a while. Thank you. Thank you, Kamasa. Thank you.